Happy New Year! Hello, this is Fabrice. Happy New Year to you and happy lockdown if you are uh, living in the UK as we've just been announced. And uh, I have a little uh, announcement to make in this beginning of the year. Um, I have created, as some of you may know already, a, a little workshop to get you started if you're a complete beginner in Unreal. Uh, as I've created this scene, some of you may know because I've been using this scene to teach uh, for uh, Epic and uh, other uh, events uh, for quite a number of years now. So I feel a lot of you have seen it, but I also feel a lot of you have not seen it. And it's simple enough to get going. So that is why I would like to announce in this video today that I have created this free workshop uh, at my website with the link, of course, below. So uh, you will see that this, you can enter your email address. If you click on that big red uh, uh, orange button that you shall not be able to miss, of course, and I will send you an email with the link to uh, this video. So the video is indeed one and a half hours long. So I thought I would uh, give you a, a very sort of um, brief overview of what I talk about in the video essentially to get you from scratch to uh, this result right here that we get to uh, here in the end. And in fact, uh, we take it sort of as far as uh, opening this image into Photoshop, uh, which is then sort of uh, gives you the ability to uh, get going. And if I can sort of locate that, there we go, a fairly higher resolution results uh, inside of Photoshop right here. Okay, so um, as I have realized some people I've uh, taught in the past know actually absolutely nothing about uh, any of this or how it worked. So I uh, go through the initial launcher, which is the first thing you'll be um, invited to download when you uh, download the file of the website which of course I provide the link to in the video. So, uh, and then we go through some prerequisites, the hardware um, and so on. And then I talk about the workflow, which is a way of breaking things down so that they are um, in manageable uh, chunks. And it's worked quite well for me. I kind of still uh, work on my own projects and teach this way. Obviously in, in theory, afterwards in practice, things get a little bit more uh, mingled. So then we go through the scene. I explained, I go through the interface briefly. Obviously, it's a very deep uh, interface. And but we, um, we go get going fairly quickly. And then we uh, start importing the files and having and starting straight into the uh, the scene. So we start from scratch like this, completely from black, and we kind of rebuild it. Uh, starting from a level sort of a and we assuming you sort of either follow along uh, with the files that I provide or uh, you might be working with your own project. So then we start building the lighting. I go through uh, again, starting in my workflow, uh, start working, uh, talking about the model first and uh, a few rules and uh, techniques, a few tips as well that I've gathered up over the years, like I keep saying to people, it's taken me about three years to come up with all this and then you can just get to learn it in 90 minutes, uh, which is great. So here I talk about some technical concepts which we are going to need in order to build the lighting. So here that gets a little bit matrixy and it kind of is in a way, uh, which is quite cool. No, nothing wrong with that, all uh, a bit geeky. But uh, then that gives us the possibility to get to this result after about 45 minutes. You know, when I sort of teach it, obviously I try to go into uh, the reasons why things that they are and so that we get a quite a deep understanding. But then, uh, you know, I would be probably do all of these steps in less than 10 minutes. 
you know in my uh, kind of daily workflow so all this is um, um, fairly quick to set up once you know you know which buttons to tick and so on so and what to look out for here which I point out some of the details so after that we kind of leave uh, use a little bit of post production sort of exposure and camera settings and so on which is all very exciting loads of fun and then uh, we kind of leave the materials obviously it's a much deeper subject so here I just wanted to make sure we could get going so the materials are generally handled automatically on import so thankfully that works quite well I'll assume that you'll be working with you know another software like Rhino and SketchUp and uh, Revit 3ds Max and so on so we'll deal with those separately um, in the future in, in the sh in the short-term future hopefully so then finally we go th towards uh, the end we build our first material so that's kind of really a premise to what's going to come back uh, come after when I'm kind of uh, finished building the entire course for this and then we'll build you know we'll go obviously very deep into materials but here I explain the very very basics of nodes in uh, materials and we build our first HDRI uh, cube map uh, sky sphere here at the end which there is one in Unreal you can use but I prefer to kind of build my own and you'll see it's very very simple once you know what to do and then finally we get to the stage here uh, where we open the image in Photoshop and uh, you can see it's a 5k image that we kind of basically do as a screen grab so that's the kind of the nice juicy fun bit so uh, that was very much developed um, uh, created with the idea that you would be able to walk away and uh, be able to reproduce more or less this kind of level as you can see the scene is fairly simple there's not much to it and uh, that's the um, workflow that I use most of the time actually still now so great I look forward to um, hearing uh, your feedback from this you'll get an email from from me so feel free to reply and let me know uh, what you're struggling with and uh, I'll be uh, really more than happy to try and uh, help you in the future thank you very much for your attention